Prague is turning into a town of records. The people behind them have all... I recognize you. I rank a bower. Thought we activated your permit. You did. Whatever you did, it was enough to fool them. You kept us out of Golem. We will never forget that. But now you're hiding again. Martial law has changed everything. They say it is to keep us off the streets, but it is worse than that. They go into our homes, accuse us of being people we are not. Permits do not matter anymore. How did you know to come here? Helena heard a message on the radio. It was warning people saying the city is not safe anymore. She saw the police going to someone's home. The man. He was showing them his permit, but the officer... He did not even look at it. He just... Helena could see that the warnings were true. That people like Irenka must have run away. So we start to go underground. We start to find others. When society wants to make things hard for someone, it eventually finds a way. I'm sorry it came to this, Irenka. Don't be. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have made it this far. We wouldn't have met all these people. Everyone is working together. Together we will find a way out of here. I hope so. Welcome to the Underground. I owe you an apology for hacking your info link. Don't sweat it. I'm assuming you had a good reason. Samizdat's usual channels are all bugged. I couldn't risk an audio communication being traced back here. You're a little K, right? You don't sound local. I wrote some things that made me have to delocalize a long time ago. Been living story to story on a Schengen visa and a language implant ever since. Never expect a short story from a long-form journalist. You want to know why I brought you here. The police raided Samistat last night, cleared us out. We were broadcasting until they pulled the plug. Radios, flyers, mail bursts, the, the makeshift media van. Getting the message out to our subscribers if they needed a refuge. As you can see, it went a little wider than we anticipated. So are you running a resistance cell here or a campaign room? Why not both? Now Sammy's dad has a captive voter base we could run for the Senate. It's organized resistance then. Peaceful resistance. We're working together to get people under the cordon and out of Prague. It's a happy accident of a police day. Well, I say happy when everyone's repressed, they can see past their prejudices. Or they shift the blame. It's gonna take a long time for those prejudices to heal. As long as certain people can profit from keeping the wounds fresh? But you knew that already. What happened to Kay? Kay is me now, according to the Samizdat Manifesto. It's all very third-wave socialist with a dash of martyr complex. Good to know. But I mean, what physically happened to him? Right. His name is Yarek. Yarek Drobny. He's being held by the police along with Bones. No contact, no bail, no rights. Plausible deniability. You must have known the risks. Well, he was open to the existence of risks. When you showed up, it should have been a wake-up call, but you were reasonable. The state isn't reasonable. This isn't what I call laying low. Aren't you afraid the police will find you again, finish what they started? They already got the cave. Bones, the backup servers, even the shitty coffee machine. Enough for them to call it a win and get back to indiscriminate brutality on the streets. Where were you when this happened? Right here. Running our little home away from home. Our sources tipped us off about the martial law. Either V could write about it and throw our hands up. Boy, I sure hope this massive rights violation doesn't end up being too awful this time. Or we could enact a readiness plan, and really do something. 
Yeah, when we first met, I called you pamphleteers. I guess I should apologize. Oh no, we were pamphleteers. Now we're pamphleteers, jury rigging an underground railroad. I'm pretty sure you didn't call me to put up posters. What's the deal? We've made a plan. We're getting people out of the city, starting first thing tomorrow. I want Yarek and Bones to go with them, but first we need to bust them out of jail. Tonight. And you think I'm the kind of guy who breaks into police stations? Are you telling me you're not? Fine, I'll get them out. They're being held in the temporary police station downtown? Yes. By the Monument Metro. Once you're clear, take them across the plaza to the United Cleaners. We've cached everything they need for a long road trip along the old NATO decommissioning zone. That's your escape route? Puts getting them past the state police into perspective. It works on paper. Ah, uh, and uh, gives them these new identity documents, a lot of new identities. We found a very good forger. We're keeping her from a bright future in a Pika's newsroom. I recognize you. Too many people. We'll have to borrow more trucks. Can we get back into the city trash depot tonight? Mamana, you didn't take my advice about giving up on forgery. I know, I know. But trouble is, I've got a talent for it. And it's a real growth market. As soon as you got me out of that thing with Dragomir, I had like 20 emails from Sam's dad. Do you have any idea how difficult it is for art school graduates to find a specialist subject these days? The permits aren't enough for police anymore. Forged or real. In Prague, maybe. But it turns out I'm multilingual when it comes to falsifying border passes. Lucky, right? Never works, I'd say lucky. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Super Commando Man. Oh, don't mention it, Milena. If there was an easier option, you think we wouldn't take it? I was less stressed out when I was working at gunpoint. We may not agree on your methods, but I'll let you get back to your work. Coming from you, that is like the gold star seal of approval. It is getting more and more difficult to hide.